What's up guys, my name is Mr. Tech Beast, and today what I have for you guys is a absolutely insane gameplay. On the map, Plaza are going to be using the MP7 with the Fast Mag and the Silencer combination. Really good uh, combination to be using with the MP7. For my perks, I'm going to be using Ghost and Hardline. Ghost though, I can set off the enemy's UAV, because I'm always moving around, and I don't want to get killed while I'm in their spawn, because of some noob, you know, aiming down sights, and I'm on his UAV, and he can see me, and easily pick up the kill on me. Also, I'm using Hardline, that way I can get my kill streaks faster. That way, if I'm going absolutely ham in the spawn the enemy can't kill me like one off my streak because of something stupid say I'm like a hundred points off of my streak without hardline if I had on hardline you know I'll get my streaks faster for my uh, green perk I'm gonna be using scavenger I'm gonna be using scavenger that way I can keep ammo keep replenishing my ammo on my streak that way if I'm like one off a swarm I don't want to have to switch weapons I want to use my same weapon through my entire streak that's why I'm using scavenger for my third perk I'm going to be using attack mask because a lot of you guys know those uh, those shock charge and bouncing Betty noobs are all over the place so I don't want to get shock charge then a bouncing Betty flies up in the air and kills me also I'm gonna be using the mp7 because this is a really good gun to be using on a map such as Plaza a lot of close quarters engagements and the mp7 can reign supreme over some uh, weapons such as assault rifles up close I'm gonna dominate those type of players so first of all what I want to talk to you guys in this gameplay is how to get high score streaks now I know a lot of you guys have been asking me lately on Twitter and on uh, YouTube PMs, Mr. Tag Beast, I want to get gameplays like you. How can I get those high score streaks? So first of all, you have to focus on your first streak. Now my first streak is the Orbital VSAT. As you see me right now, I'm playing kind of safe. I know the enemies are spawning at sea. You see me aiming down sights around every corner. I see this guy in a mini map, and you see me playing safe. I'm behind the little counter, head glitching. That way I can go ahead and get my streak. Also, Flag Jacket is really good to use when you're uh you when you're playing. That way you can't get C forward or grenade at one or two off your streaks. You know, because I know a lot of you guys get killed like that and it's very annoying because I get killed like that as well also try to use a weapon that you're really comfortable with if you're comfortable with a weapon such as the MSMC or the PDW try using those sort of weapons that way you can you know get your streaks easier because your aim is going to be on par everything's going to be on par your mobility if you're a sniper type of player then you know you're going to play a slower play style it just depends on what weapon and what your playstyle is on how to get those high score streaks for you. Now, another way you can get high score streaks is playing it safe. Now, I don't play it safe most of the time unless I'm like, you know, balls deep in the spine. I'll play it safe if I know I'm like one off a swarm and I don't want to die, you know, 70 kills. I'm about to get the 100 plus. You guys know what I mean. And you just play it safe like that. Also, you can play it safe from the start of the game. Take, you know, certain rush routes. Go ahead and rush to a head glitch post up. It depends on what's your playstyle. That's not my playstyle. My play style is just rush straight to the enemy spawn and get in their faces and when you're doing that you have to really you know slow your play style down sometimes when you get one to two off a streak I've learned in Black Ops 2 because you can die a ton off of that and that's another way you know when you're getting those high score streaks you don't want to die one to two off and I tend to do that a ton and I'm still trying to train myself not to rush one to two off because in Mortal for three you could just use your gun skill with the ACR MP7 run in the enemy spawn jump drop shot turn around 360 no scope why why Whatever you might do, you can do that on Model War for 3. And look at this coming up, guys. This is absolutely insane. I see these two guys. I take out these two guys. So I'm reloading my weapon. I call in the VSAT because I had the VSAT online. No, I had the K9 unit. Watch this. I throw my C4. And quad! Oh, my God. That's absolutely insane. If you haven't already, be sure to click that like button down below for that quad C4. I think that might have been a Penta C4. I'm going to go back and look at it. And if you've seen the uh, feed, because <laughs> while I'm recording this, if you've seen the feed, be sure to leave a comment down below telling me was that a quad or a pensa feed but that was absolutely insane that should earn your like rating right there because that was an insane c4 and as i look back at this gameplay i was so pumped up in this gameplay i was screaming i was playing in a party with my brother and i was absolutely screaming you see me checking the scoreboard right there and a lot of you guys ask me why do i check the scoreboard so much in my gameplays it's so i can see if enemies are bagging out and how close i am to that 100 plus if i'm close to 100 plus say I'm, i have 97 kills going balls deep in the enemy spawn i want to go ahead and rush that way i can get those high score streaks so thank you guys for watching i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did remember to leave a like rating down below it really helps my channel out and helps me grow the previous video got 80 likes so if we could get 85 likes on this video it would mean a lot thank you guys for watching my name is mr tag beast and i'm out peace now on screen are three videos that you guys might have missed. If you haven't already, be sure to follow me on Twitter and like my Facebook fan page and visit my Twitch.tv for live streams. All of the following links will be down below in the description. And if you haven't already and you enjoy my content and for daily 100 plushes, be sure to click the subscribe button top right.